Ralph is like drunk and high every single stream now. He did this really funny thing where he said, I can fly out to Las Vegas in time I want. I got, I can do it. And so I said, okay, Ralph, fly out to Vegas. And it was chat and he says, Bish, your trolling ain't good. You're not going to get me. I could, I could fly out to Vegas, but why waste the money? So after talking all this hype about how he has a hundred thousand, he said he has a hundred thousand dollar dues in a bank account. Um, and he's going to make it last. He's going to make that money last. Uh, but he's going to go out to Vegas. Um, cause you know, he's, he's so hood rich and you get these tax free super jets and shit. And he's just like, nah, actually I'm not going to go out to it. Like, okay. Broke, broke bitch, broke bitch. Can I get a broke bitch in chat for, for Ethan Ralph? Uh, for whatever reason, he decided to say that I'm I'm not Aryan because I don't have blue eyes. I don't know if anyone has ever seen a picture of me, but I have very very blue eyes. This is probably my my most obvious feature. Um, Ralph apparently says that he has blue eyes, but he's got like these little pig slit eyes, and I literally did not know that he has blue eyes. In fact, looking at him, I can't tell. Like he has these fucked up little pig slits, and I just can't see any color in his eyes. But he he's gonna go on an Aryan Kang rant. That's why. I have blue eyes <clears throat> because I'm an Aryan god. That's why. <laughs> what do you have? I have blue eyes. I literally have blue eyes, though. I'm looking dead at the fucking camera. Dude, look at that. What? There is no way he has blue eyes. He has like the darkest black little pits for eyes that I've ever seen. And he has like full frontal lighting. Like he's got studio lighting on and I still can't see what fucking color his eyes are. What the fuck do you have? For goddamn sure not blue eyes. That's for sure. How does he not know I, I have blue eyes? Is he confusing himself with me? Because he doesn't have, like, those are like black soulless eyes. Is he like, is he like fantasizing about being me again? And he's like, if I was that Josh Moon, that John Potter, I would be an Aryan god with bright blue eyes. And I would tell people, what the fuck do you have, bish? I got blue eyes. What do you have? Is this what's happening? Because uh, for real, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, he also threatened to dox Alyssa Clip's children um, and almost considered pissing live uh, into a bottle um, on Rumble. And uh, I think there's another clip of Ruski here. Oh, he um, was talking about how he had a couple clubs that he liked to visit local in the area, but they all got shut down for a pretty interesting reason. Let's take a listen. Yeah. No. Daniel Larson Stan sent $3 on Rumble. I am thinking of visiting Yucatan for vacation in a few months. Any good nightclubs or spots, etc. you recommend? Yeah, well, they, they shut down a few. Um, <clears throat> they... Sh <laughs> They 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 shut down a few for um like human trafficking basically you know I just about uh, criminal activity so <laughs> um if that's what was going on I I, I really can't say anything about that Ben. I, I have been to Bandidas. And so, you know, it is what it is. Like, you know, they, they shut it down. 2X? No, you must suffer. They, 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 they came in and they they shut it down they shut down uh candelas they shut down um a couple other um you know strip clubs and so this must be all he does you know I've been to Bandidas uh, within within the last month, actually. 
Um, now they were trying to force me to like, you know, do whatever, and I was just like, give me the bucket of beer, like whatever. Um, but um, yeah, I mean. So, if you don't know, one of the big tragedies of the border crisis in the U.S. is that you have a lot of people who want to migrate to the United States, and they do not have the means to do so on their own. They're very poor. So they rely on people to guide them from wherever they come from. It could be as far away as the south of Chile, uh, or Panama, Colombia, Ecuador, whatever the fuck they're from, and they guide them to the United States. Well, there's a lot of stops on the way from Chile to Texas, right? such as Merida in the Yucatan. Um, so these guys who lead people from point A to point B expect payment. And for women and children, that's often sexual payment. And it may be that you enlist to be transported to Texas for economic reasons, and you end up in Yucatan, and you run out of money. So they say, okay, well, you're going to be a prostitute in Merida, and you're going to have sex with expats like Ethan Ralph, and we're going to take your money until you have enough money to continue payments. And if you're lucky, they'll actually eventually dump you into the United States. If you're unlucky, you're stuck in Merida as a prostitute until you're killed over some drug dispute in your, your 20s. Uh, that is the human cost of an open border, like the one that we have in the United States. And Ethan Ralph... Uh, it's kind of interesting hearing him talk about it because he names off all these strip clubs in the area and it makes sense. Like, this is what he does every day. And I didn't even really think about it like that, but it's like, yeah, he takes his super chat money. He goes to the strip clubs. He gets wasted. He takes his Percocets. He's just fucking sloshed in a strip club all day watching sex trafficked teen girls dance for him. And sometimes if he has an extra big super chat day, uh, he'll pay them to have sex with him, and that's his entire life, and that's why he's so placated and, and happy in Mexico. That's exactly the life that he wants. He gets a couple. He was ta- telling me, by the way, someone in ch- his chat. It was not me. I don't. I don't brag about money stuff because I, I find that tacky and, and low intelligence. But somebody in his chat mentioned that I uh, ostensibly profit more than him from streaming now, and he he addressed me uh, as a result and said. I don't need to make so much money because I don't got a dumb Kiwi Farms to run and pay for. I have a much lower cost of living, so I only need a couple gringo dollars to get by. And it's like, it must be exactly what he's doing. His cost of living is uh, his hotel, his Airbnb, his Percocets, um, or Xanax, whatever the fuck it is. So the, it's the the anxiety pill they prescribe little girls. I think that's uh, Xanax. Then he takes, um, he might also be on painkillers like Percocets. And then he takes alcohol, which is much cheaper. Um, by the way, Xanax is extremely cheap in Mexico too. It's over the counter there. So it's like pennies per pill, over the counter. Mix it with alcohol, also pennies per per liter. And then he goes to the strip club, and it's all like indentured servant, chattel slaves that um, are halfway to Texas. And that's his life. <laughs> that's his entire life, and he's extremely happy about that. That's um, that's how it's going to be for the Ralph Molly for quite a while. Bish, aren't you fucking jealous, motherfucker? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.